Hey guys, welcome back to the Everything Tech channel, bringing you the world of technology. And today I'm going to be bringing you a Yosemite tips and tricks video. This is video number two. For those of you who are following, if you're not, well, oh well, it's a Yosemite tips and tricks video. And today I'm going to be covering how you can uh, learn about your machine. Because sometimes you buy your computer and then afterwards they start updating them and more and more of the same machine keep coming out and you get lost. You're, what, what computer do I have? Uh, what processor is in here? How much RAM do I have? Is my CPU any good? Am I even under warranty? So if any of those questions apply to you or you just want to know which machine you have, the easiest way to find out this information is to go to the Apple and you click on About This Mac. Doing so will give you the overview. Here it tells me it's an iMac 27 inch, late 2012. It tells me the processor and whatnot. But to me, this isn't enough information. So what I could do is go to support. And here I am presented with OSX resources. I could view the user manual for the computer, call for support if I need to, uh, Mac help in case I have some questions about my computer. Why is it doing this or how do I do this? Also under here, Macintosh resources, click on specifications, but before we click on specifications, there's hardware support Support in case uh, your hard drive fails, your graphics card fails, you can always go there and, and get some support and important information. We'll go through all of these separately. So you click on specifications and it's going to prompt you to this window here and it tells you, oh, you have the 27 inch late 2012 iMac okay and it tells me what display I have what resolution my processor it is a 2.9 gigahertz it tells you everything including the memory and it tells me I can configure it up to 16 gigabytes 32 gigabytes would be the higher end model I believe and mine came with the one terabyte so you're basically seeing everything here that your computer has and what you can configure it to including your graphics. I have a 2.9 gigahertz NVIDIA GeForce GTX 660M graphics processor with 512 megabytes of GDDR5 memory but the upper level one, the higher end 27 inch could support a 3.2 gigahertz with 1 gig of GDR, GDDR5 memory or a 2 gigabyte GDDR5 memory. It also tells me I have a FaceTime HD camera which tells me how much resolution it supports it also tells me the audio speakers, even shows me here the input output ports, uh, SDXC card slot, four USB 3 ports, in case you need to know all of this stuff, including wireless, which wireless does it support if you're in the market for a brand new router. I did buy an 802.11an router, I believe it was, and none of my stuff worked because it's all 802.11a, b, g, and n compatible. I don't think they or probably the new Macs have support for the AN. It does tell me the size and weight in case I am planning to move it and I have certain weight lifting limitations if you're older of older age. You can see here it weighs 21 pounds so if you can't lift 21 pounds you can always ask your neighbor to help you and it tells me the voltage in case I do need to learn that and the frequency. It's Basically, the spec sheet here is much more advanced than the one you get by going to About This Mac and support or your overview because your overview just gives you an overview of everything your computer has that's important. By clicking on specifications, it literally gets into details about each and every single component in your computer. This helps for whatever you may need it. It's there. It's brand new in Yosemite. So let's move on to the next... to the next... Uh, hardware support. So you click on hardware support, it's going to bring you to the website. It tells me, welcome to the Intel-based iMac page. So if I'm new to Mac, Mac Basics, you could set up iCloud. Basically, you have your Apple support assistant here with you. If you need anything here, we have uh, apps, accessories, memories and storage, how to change the memory, upgrade the RAM, the power, basically how-to. This is a how-to page in case you need to find out how to do certain things and they set it up here in different categories so you can categorize what your problem is or what you want to do is let's say I want to run Windows on the Mac computer without the use of parallels if you do 
get boot camp support and uh, boot camp lets you partition your hard drive if I, if I have a one terabyte hard drive I can partition 500 gigs to Mac and 500 gigs to Windows or partition it based on which do I use the most if I'm gonna use Windows the most well um, you partition 750 gigs to your Windows and then the rest 150 I believe is going to be towards Mac so if you want to do that this is where you do it next on the list we have important information this is all the regulatory information terms and conditions this opens as a PDF file on your computer so you have access to this you can always go to file and export as PDF to your desktop if you so choose but it's here you don't need to save it to your desktop you just go into about this Mac support and there it is the other stuff right here like Mac help is in case you do need it um, Mac help it opens this little dialog box here and you click on it let's say install installing RAM it searches through the database and you do need internet access for this because it is a separate internet access page uh, reset your computer's PRAM if you can't stand up after your PRAM all that stuff uh, let me double click this to make it smaller uh, I don't know uh, CPU uh, view CPU activity it tells you different things like it's basically a uh, ask and get answered uh, let's see the next item on the list the user manual this opens in the browser as well most of this is brow browser braced browser based so if you do not have an internet connection the first question I ask you is how you're watching this video if you say on cellular data connection well then you do have access to all of this stuff you just have to google it and here is my quick start guide for my Apple computer in case I don't want to pull it out of the box whatever it may be it's easier for me to be on my computer and see it because this is a web page so you can zoom in if you want uh, it does tell me all the stuff about my computer, how to work everything, the quick start man manual that comes with your computer. Uh, next item on the list is OSX support. And here it's the same thing as that other page, but it deals with Yosemite and every aspect software wise about, about your Mac. I believe. Um, previous versions have this. I say that because I see it here. OSX Mavericks and then Mountain Lion. In case you have both of these browsers, uh, browsers. In case you have both of these operating systems running at the same, um, not at the same time, but on your machine and you're watching this video, you can get support for Mavericks here. It won't be as elaborate as we have it here for Yosemite, but you do have it for OSX Mavericks and Mountain Lion, and you do get support for Safari and Mac apps and all that stuff but this is a support pages related support pages you click on that and you can get help about QuickTime which I'll be doing a video about next pages in case you have that messages everything that has to do with your Apple computer you can get it from the support page that's it for today everybody please make sure to look in the description for ways you can help our channel by visiting our Amazon wishlist both for our custom PC build and our overall YouTube channel wishlist help us out help us bring you more content and if you want to know how to help us well that's how you can help us you can get anything you want for us on there price point doesn't matter just make sure you tell us what you got us so we can add you into the credits and thank you for watching please make sure to like comment subscribe and share see you next time